Not felt like a good day to get dressed today. Uh, I was gonna say Sal and I. Um, Fox and I are going to Home Goods to see if we can find some frames. So I got one of my flags in the mail already from Etsy. Don't give up the ship for Gabe's room. And I want to try to see if I can find some frames for che cheap. I could go to a, a thrift store too, but I just don't know how long I want to be out today. So I'm gonna try this one first. Um, and I was just like sitting in the car here, starting to sweat slowly. It's freezing. Well, actually it's 62. Okay, that's dramatic. It was freezing at my house. It was like 50 degrees at my house. And it's so weird. Do you guys put on like warm clothes like this and then you're sweating, but also cold at the same time? Well, I'm glad I'm not alone in the, in the sweat fests during winter, during the cold. <laughs> so many of you have the same problem and it makes me feel better. It really does. Um, I was going to share the color that I picked for the accent wall in the family room. And I want to share why I'm going to pick it. So I'm going with, drum roll, black. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, here's the reason why. The fireplace and the sofa are, well, the fireplace is black and that's Benjamin Moore black top. Is, it's actually black, but it photographs and kind of looks more like a dark blue gray. And so my one concern with doing something close to black or dark was that it would just be too many different variants colors so what's happening is it's going to be black and then I ordered some velvet like curtains that I saw on Chris Loves Julia from Amazon I'll share them here they're great price really beautiful and then redo the gallery wall I'm really excited about this because I just love paint I love being able to make this room like really warm and cozy with the black wall and just have like a really fun accent and um I'm going to go pick up my prints later today to redo all the prints there. So perfect. And I just wanted to share something that I learned years ago at our first house. Um, that was back when, well, let's see, that was 2006, I believe, or 2008, uh, when brown was really popular. Like everything was tan and brown. So we had this big house and we painted it all tan and brown. It looked like a big poo. It really did. Um, and I always wondered, like, what is wrong? Like, why is it not cozy? Like, it's this cozy color. But there is something about balancing cool tones and warm tones together to actually bring the things that you love to life. Sometimes if it's too cool, it's stark and cold. If it's too warm, it's like blah. And you need that balance of cool items and tones in your All of a sudden, this girl is so big. You're holding your head up? Are you the biggest girl? Yeah. Hello, where's your little face? Oh, hello. Oh, what a little cool. Kind of, kind of low on dinner ideas here. Dino doesn't feel like cooking. So, we're doing breakfast for dinner. I used to do that growing up. It was like the treat of all treats that my mom would do. Breakfast for dinner is the best. Breakfast for dinner. Tell me, tell me about this breakfast stitch situation. I cut like this. Are you, do you, no, 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 no. Do you feel good about this breakfast situation tonight? Mm -hmm. It was delicious. Oh yeah, like the knife. 